Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how I use Plan to Eat to plan my weekly meals. I do only plan one week at a time. Plan to Eat also offers monthly planning up here in the right hand corner. You see week and month. I'm on week. Um, this is my current week. I just thought I'd show you all how easy it was to use because I've had some of you ask me if I still really like it and I will tell you that uh, being the meal planning junkie I am and loving to do things on paper instead of uh, on the computer. I like my little notes. Um, this is my favorite way to plan my meals and I really, really love it. So I love telling you guys about it. Now, whenever you log into your Plan to Eat account, this is what you're going to see at first. It will first bring up your recipes. Now, these are all the recipes that you have imported yourself. Uh, you can type them in or you can import them from we uh, websites, which is what I mostly do. I will show you how to do that in a minute. So these are all the recipes that you have saved. You can scroll down and see them all. And right here on the right side um, are blog posts from the Plan to Eat blog, which was also good. I do write for them, by the way. Um, so let's say you wanted to plan your meal up here at the top you've got your recipes you've got your planner and you've got your shopping list let's look at shopping list first um, i don't really use the shopping list i always make my shopping list on paper uh, but plan to eat does offer a shopping list but only for the recipes that you import uh, not for any that you just type in in your list i'll show you what i mean in a minute and whenever you want to print your grocery list you can just do that right over here with the print button let's go to the planner and here we are uh, in my planner. Now I wanted to show you, I've already got one day plan to show you and I'll show you some more over here in a minute. Now uh, all of these I have just typed in. They are not imported recipes, they're actually recipes from my Trim Healthy Mama book um, that I have typed in for the day. Now let's say I wanted to plan Saturday. I would go over here and I can look through the recipes that I already have imported. So let's look down through here and see something I would like for breakfast on Saturday. How about fruity baked steel cut oats, which is a favorite of ours. I'd drag them over and put them in here. And see, all I had to do was click and drag and it put them over here. This highlighted in blue means it's something that's saved in my recipes. And these over here that are just in white are recipes that I have just typed in. So let's say I wanted something else to go with my fruity baked steel cut oats that I want Greek yogurt. I would click in there and it's going to bring up this box. Now in the note area right here is where I'm going to type in uh, the note that I want to add. So let's put Greek and because I have already done it several times, it comes up for me and then I hit add note. Now by default, it's always going to go under supper, uh, but I want to put that under breakfast. So I can take this and drag it up into my breakfast box and there now it is and I click out and I'm done. I've got that saved for breakfast. Now let's see if I want something else to go for Sunday. Let's scroll down here. And another favorite of ours are these Italian baked eggs. Love those. And I put them over here. Now uh, let's say I wanted some bread to go with it. I just scroll all the way down to my, oh, I mean up, I think, yeah, up. And here's, let's say, um, coconut flour bread. I put that over there to go with it. Now I've got those two things in there and I want to add some fruit. So I'd click in and put strawberries. There it's saved. Add note. There it goes under supper again. I just move it. Well, let's, let me show you. I can click out of this. I accidentally didn't move it so I can go over here and just drag it up myself that way. You can drag and drop from days or meals or wherever that you want them to go. So now I've got all that there. Um, if you're in your recipes and you've got a ton saved like me, which is only the tip of the iceberg, and you think, gosh, I'm not sure what I would like, but I'd like something that was hamburger. So I would just type in hamburger over here and hit search, and it's going to bring up things that I have saved under burger, like pepperoni pizza burgers. So let's say I wanted to fix those Sunday night. Those are Pioneer Woman's, and they rock. They're so delicious. I drag that over there. And there it is. And if I, whatever else I want with it, if it's not saved, I can just type it in right here. Now, it also has a snacks category, and that's what I put in for our snacks uh, desserts for the day. And if I have something to bake that I want to remember, like right here I've got baked spicy nuts, or if I need to um, uh, uh, soak for a uh, baked oatmeal, I'd go um, soak oats for baked oatmeal, and I'd hit add my note. And I always put those under snacks for me. 
and now I click out and I've got that saved down there when I print out my list so that I can remember. Now when I get my whole thing planned, if I want to print, all I have to do is go up here in the upper right hand corner and click on the print button and it's going to give me this to print if I want, which I do every time because I've already told you I'm a paper girl. See this option right here? Print four recipes included in meal plan. That's these four right here. And if I didn't already have them printed out, I could just click this button and hit print. It will print my meal plan and those recipes, which is very handy, I think, uh, because I do like to look at my recipes when I'm cooking on paper and not on my computer because I'm a very messy cook. And who knows what might get under that P button. Sorry, honey. Um, uh, my computer always looks a mess. But anyway... <laughs> So that's that's if you want to print your list, which I think is a very, very um, handy option. Now, let's go back to the shopping list for just a second if you wanted to use that. It is bringing up for the next seven days all these recipes that were imported and saved. Nothing I just typed in. I told you that already. Here are the ingredients for all of those things. But let, you know what? I already have sea salt. I already have almond meal and honey and apple cider vinegar. I don't need those things. So what I would do is click them. Whatever I don't need and go down here in the bottom right hand corner, see it says remove selected. I click that and it removes those items from my list. And now I can print my grocery list. Right here, it will let me print that, which is very handy if you like that type of thing. Now, mainly I'm using it for the planner. Plan to Eat also offers menus, which I have not saved yet. Um, and that's if you create a whole week or a menu that you really like um, you can save that. You can see your friends menus that they have created, which is really nice. Um, I should probably do that because that's how uh, readers can see my meal plans. You can't see other people's meal plans yet. I'm trying to put a bug in Clint's ear to fix that um, because I think that'd be a really nice feature. But you can see your friends menus. And you can follow people. Um, recipes. See right here, it says friends. I'm following 59 people, and then I've got people following me as well. They can see all the recipes that I've imported, uh, and I can see theirs. So all these people that I'm following together have this many recipes imported, which that's a pretty good way to find recipes, especially if you're following people who eat the same way that you do. Then you can share ideas and recipes that way. Um, and here's groups uh, that you can also, I'm in the kitchen stewardship group. Um, if you're interested in the Stacy Makes Sense group, just let me know. I'm trying to get that in the works as well. Now, let's go back here. Let's say you're asking me, how did I get all my recipes saved into my recipe box? I have the bookmarklet. Let's scroll. See right here, the book. Use the bookmarklet to import recipes from the web. So that's what I have, and it's saved right here on the right on my toolbar, and that's what you want. Uh, if you log into your plan to eat account and go to the help, that's where you find, see, this button right here is what you're going to drag up and put in your toolbar, and that really helps. Um, so, oops, Stacy just moved it. Let me move it, move it back. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. I moved it. Okay, now, back to plan to eat. Up here in the top, help. If you don't know what you're doing, which I don't know what I'm doing most of the time, um, you can browse discussions or the knowledge base or start a discussion to get help. Um, and they are very quick to respond. If you need help and don't understand something, Clint and Christopher have excellent, excellent customer service. I've always been pleased with everything from them. Um, I really like those guys. I really like Plan to Eat. So let's say you wanted to save a recipe I think I was already talking about that and I got on a tangent. Oh yes, bookmarklet, that's it. You want the bookmarklet right here. Um, and that's how I save my recipes. So let's say I was in my Pinterest account, which if you're not following me on Pinterest, you really should. I have lots of fun recipes saved. Um, so this is my Pinterest account. Let me hop down here and let's just choose something from dinner. And I'm scrolling down through here and scrolling and scrolling and thinking, hmm, what looks uberly delicious that I'd like to put in my belly today? Actually, what doesn't look uberly delicious I want to put in my belly? I eat all the time. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, I'm starting to get hungry. This is crazy. Okay, let's see. Uh, slow cooker chicken and quinoa. Chili. This is actually saved from my friend Brandy at Marathon Mom. 
She has a great blog too, by the way. So let's pull this up. Here is the recipe saved for her. So while I'm on here, I would just hit my save recipe and it's gonna pop up this box over here on the side for me. See, importing recipe. Not every recipe will import. I'll show you one that doesn't. It picks, it's already imported the title, the picture, the main course, the ingredients, and I scroll down in my box, and the directions for me. And all I have to do is hit save to recipe book. It's saving, it's saving. I will go ahead and tell you that the way my Pinterest and my Plan to Eat accounts work are when I upload one of my recipes from Pinterest into my Plan to Eat account, I delete that from Pinterest so that I don't have recipes in both places because that confuses me. So I either have my recipes on Pinterest that I have not tried or the ones that I have tried and liked, I leave in my Plan to Eat account. So I've uploaded it and you can see and I will have, it's added to my queue, um, added to my recipe book. So I close this out and I go back to my plan to eat account. I hit uh, refresh. It puts it at the very top. Recently added in the last 15 minutes which is helpful especially when I'm doing my meal plans. So I can take this and drag it over into supper for Monday night and now it's in there. If there was a recipe that I tried to pull up, let me see if I can find one um, that does not import correctly. Let's go oven roasted salmon. Let's see if this one works. And I wanted to import that. I hit save recipe. It's importing. It's trying to import. Now, if it does not come up, you can actually put it in yourself. See this selected photo, it didn't grab it. So I hit, click select photo and pick the one I wanted. And now it's saved that for me. It did the title and the course and the ingredients. But as you can see, it didn't capture the directions. So I scroll down here till I get to the directions. And I take my mouse and I highlight all those directions. And I hit copy. And I go over here and I paste them in. And now they're in there for me. And I hit scroll down. And I save my recipe. And now that one's in my book too. And I go over here and I hit refresh. And now it's up there at the top again for me. And if I wanted, I could drag it over and pop it in. So there you go. You can use this button up here at the top to scroll back and see different weeks that you've already planned. Um, I like to do that sometimes if I see uh, menus that I like or that worked out well. And then also, I told you here, if you wanted to plan it a month at a time, you just go to the right and click on month instead. So, I'm going to go back to the week. And that's my plan to eat account. And that's how it works for me. I've told you I really love it. Um, I wouldn't tell you that uh, if, I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't mean it because I only tell the truth and that's how I roll. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to holler at me, you can leave a comment uh, or send me an email using the contact form. Uh, make sure to add me on Plan to Eat. I am Stacy Makes Sense, as you can see in the upper right hand corner. That's me, Stacy at StacyMakesSense.com if you want to use my um, email address. And over here on Pinterest, I am Stacy Makes Sense as well uh, if you want to add me there and see all my yummy recipes. So that's it. And I hope you all enjoy Plan to Eat as much as I do. Do remember there is a free 30 day trial uh, if you're not sold on it yet that you can try. Uh, and do that for free and get hooked and then it's only um, I think $39 a year I'm not I'm saying that and now I think that's what it is you can pay by the year or by the month um, so thank you all very much for watching and that's how I use plan to eat